What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Brenda and if you love fashion and home decor, then you're in the right place. Please give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you're an oldie but a goodie, welcome back. I know I made you guys wait a little while for this video, but I promise you guys it is worth the wait. Finally bringing to you guys my bedroom tour. It is episode three to my home tour series. So keep on watching. Feels like I'll pretend Keep on driving and driving Along the roads and end Lost my head or feel my spark Between the jars and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving Alright guys, before we jump in the tour I did want to give you guys the giveaway rules if you didn't catch my last couple of videos, I mentioned to you guys that I am giving away this guy right here. Right here, look at this beauty. Oh, I love it. You guys know that this is a huge RH dupe. You have to have this guy in your home. I promise you guys, you will not regret it. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is give this video a thumbs up. So go give it right now. I'll wait. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel and comment down below. Let me know why this guy belongs in your home. Where would you put it? Why do you love it so much? Are you a huge RH lover like me? Trust me, this is a huge dupe. So you're gonna love it just as much as I do. So let me know down below. Make sure you guys follow the giveaway rules, simple and easy. And I will be announcing the winner on my next video. I'm so excited. All right, guys, so let's get started. I know that I've showed you guys, you know, sneak peeks of my bedroom here and there on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. It is linked in my description box down below. And if you guys don't follow me on TikTok, go follow me on TikTok. I've showed my bedroom so many times and the amount of questions that I've gotten on my bedroom. It is insane. I thought, you know what? It's time. It's time to get this video up. And my bedroom is perfect. It is you know exactly the way that I envisioned it I am so happy with the way it turned out so let's get started starting off with my beautiful bed remember guys everything that I mentioned in my bedroom tour will be linked in the description box down below so make sure you guys go check it out I'm gonna start off by sharing with you guys my bed frame I get asked so many questions on this bed frame. First off, I knew exactly which bed I wanted. I actually got my inspiration from, it's crazy, but the Cosmo in Vegas when we stayed there for my husband's 30th birthday, they had a bed very similar to this style and I fell in love with it. So I thought, you know what, when I purchase my bed frame, it's gonna look somewhat similar. And I loved this one right here, which I actually got from Wayfair. Wayfair has beautiful beds for very, very inexpensive price. I'll link this one down below. I chose to go with the ivory color because if you guys notice, my entire bedroom is ivory. I knew I wanted just one solid color. I wanted my room to really, well, our room, it's my husband and I's, to really represent our style and make it look very sophisticated and modern. And I just, I really wanted it to be classy and just clean. And again, my husband, you know, he trusts my vision 100%. So he didn't question any of my purchases and he loves it so much. Like, when I catch him doing TikToks in here, I think it's the cutest thing because he loves our bedroom and I'm so happy that he enjoys it because it is our space where we, where we come at the end of the day and just kind of relax and, you know, spend some time together. So I really am happy with the way it turned out. And this bed frame in general, it is a color that it just it's just timeless. It'll never go out of style. And the best part is that I can choose to do whatever coloring, color of bedding that I want. Like I can choose to go red, green, yellow, blue, like white, obviously. And it won't clash because the color of my bed is very neutral. So it is like a pleated velvet material. I love it. The way that I clean mine, easy guys. All you have to do is grab a lint roller and clean it. That simple. I don't ever get it dirty, obviously. I mean, you guys, we're adults here. I don't think it should be getting dirty. I mean, even my son knows not to get on my bed with shoes or anything like that or his little little hands touching my bed. He knows not to, but if you absolutely need to clean it, I highly recommend just grab a lint roller, maybe damp some warm water, nothing too much. I mean, I'm not 
I don't really know here, but you guys can definitely Google it and try to find a way to clean it. Just be very, very, very careful with it. Um, okay, and yeah, my bed is actually a queen size, so I'll link it down below for you guys if you guys are interested. Hopefully, I can find this bed, you guys. I did purchase it over four months ago, so if for any reason it's out of stock, I will link the most similar one to my bed. Again, Wayfair has tons. And if you choose not to go to Wayfair through Wayfair, there is a ton of other companies that carry very, very similar styles to my bed. Moving on to my bedding, I get asked so many questions on my bedding. Okay guys, so I did get a couple of pieces here and there from different places, so make sure you guys pay close attention. My duvet, which is the duvet that is underneath my duvet cover. If you guys are not familiar with what a duvet is, pretty much a duvet is what gives your bedding that very luxury, like really puffy um, look to it. I knew I wanted a duvet. Duvets can be very expensive, guys. I remember I saw one at Pottery Barn for like $200. No, I was not gonna go that route, so I wanted to mention you guys that I got my duvet at Ikea. Yes, at Ikea for a fraction of the price. It was super inexpensive, super good quality. I've already washed mine multiple times and it gets fluffier with time. Like, it does not lose its quality. I am so obsessed with it. I'll link it down below for you guys. My duvet cover is from Bed Bath & Beyond. So are my pillow covers and my mattress cover. That is all from Bed Bath & Beyond. There is no specific one you gotta go with, guys. Just get a solid white one. Pretty much. And again, Bed Bath & Beyond is super good quality, so I highly, highly recommend it. The only thing that I did not get from Bed Bath & Beyond, aside from my duvet, is this little throwover that I have right here. This is from good old HomeGoods. I just picked it up. Usually, I don't go for, like, you know, this type of throw. I like just solid ones. But I liked how it really tied into my room. It just gives it, like, a really cozy feel, and I'm just obsessed with it. So this guy and these guys are from HomeGoods. Moving on to my pillows. These are called Euro pillows, guys. First off, one of my biggest tips to you guys. Don't go crazy with the pillows. I know that it's easy for us to go crazy with them and buy tons of pillows, but to give your bed a really luxury feel, like a hotel feel, just very just elegant, go with big pillows. And my favorite are from Bed Bath & Beyond. These are called Euro pillows. Like I said, they're a little bit on the pricey side, guys. I'm not gonna lie, but I promise you guys, it's worth every penny. I am obsessed with them. I wash them. They have not lost their quality. They're super comfortable, and I just, I'm obsessed with them. They're about 40 bucks, so again, a little bit pricey for a pillow, I know, but if you're looking for the perfect big pillow, Go to Bed Bath & Beyond. Home Kids has a ton of good ones as well. Keep that in mind. Um, for much more, less expensive. I think they're like $24.99 a set. So you can go to Home Goods if you want really big pillows. I'm not going to show you guys the ones in the back because they're just your classic, you know, Target, Walmart pillows. And my covers, though, I did get from Bed Bath & Beyond. But I have... So what I do is I stack up two regular pillows so it can give the illusion of, like, my... I guess you can say like more pillows in general, like that luxury feel. So I push them, you know, I put them behind my Euro pillows and that pushes them forward and it just gives it a really pretty look and I'm obsessed with them. So I have in total one, two, three, four, five, six pillows and then my two decorative pillows. So eight in total. But remember guys, if you're gonna go overboard with the pillows, do it the right way. That's the biggest tip I can give to you guys. Moving on to my nightstands. Oh my God, they are perfect. I knew that we were gonna have these in our bedroom as soon as we saw them because we both fell in love with them. These are the Audrey nightstands from West Elm. They are a classic piece from West Elm. They're just beautiful. I highly recommend them. I love the texture with the gold accent. Again, they are in an ivory color and they're just beautiful. I am so obsessed with them. I don't think I'm ever gonna get rid of them. Like, honestly, I just love them so, so much. We have one on each side, obviously. One for me, one for my husband. And they're very spacious, very roomy. I highly recommend them. Again, my room is all one color, but I did add accents of gold. So I absolutely love that about these nightstands. They have just the right touch of the brass gold. On top of my nightstand, you guys will see my Chanel coffee table book, which I've mentioned a ton of times here on my video, on my channel. I'll link it down below for you guys. Then I have my really cute, I know, it's cute. I call it cute. It is my oil diffuser from Target. It has a little bit of the wood accent, which I absolutely love. You guys know that I bring the wood accent, you know, in my home pretty much everywhere. And this jewelry stand that I got from West Elm as well. 
I mean, come on, girls. Like, jewelry is a girl best, girl's best friend. And every day, once I'm ready, I just come on here, I put on my necklaces and my jewelry, and I'm just ready to go. And I absolutely love the look of it. I am obsessed with it. I'll also link it down below for you guys. And then I have my charger. We each have our chargers on each side. I'll also link it down below. And it is all linked on my Amazon storefront, so make sure you guys go check that out. Okay, moving on to my curtains. I have these same curtains, you guys, all over, like in my living room and in my bedroom. I decided to go with the same style of curtains to just make sure that everything just blends really well together. Like, I feel like your home should be very cohesive in that in that source, so I wanted to go with the same curtains. These I've mentioned also in my living room tour video, but I'll link them down for you guys. They're called the Hannah Lil. Hanna Lil, I think that's how you say it. They're very pretty, they're like an ivory color. What I chose to do is to go with the black rod and just one single curtain. So every night before we go to bed, of course, we close them and then every morning when I'm making my bed, I just push them off to the side. One curtain, I feel that it looks very elegant, very pretty. I don't have to go with the second one. What you can do is if you want a little bit more privacy, you can always choose to add some window shades. I love the look of just the plain window. I've mentioned that here on my channel, except for my living room, I was kind of forced to have to put shades because it's our living room and I, we spend a lot of time there. But at night here, you know, it's dark, so I don't need to have window shades. I love the ones that I have in there. So just a little FYI for more privacy add some shades but other than that I love the way that the one curtain alone looks so before I talk about my husband's nightstand I want to show you guys my picture frames oh my god they look beautiful I knew I wanted family photos above our bed you know my husband and I with our son we went to a beautiful beach and they just look stunning I want them in color and the best part is that my husband edited them himself and he used the tones that I absolutely love so they look beautiful. I got my frames from Target. I'll also link them down below. I feel like when you buy frames with the cut, like, you know, the white cutout board like that, it looks very expensive. My favorite are from CB2, but they are a little bit on the pricier side. So if you guys are going for a more cheaper alternative, check out Target. These are amazing. I love them, but I'm pretty sure that down the line, I will most likely be picking up some CB2 ones. But for now, these are perfect. Okay, now moving on guys to my husband's nightstand. It is the same Audrey nightstand as it is on my side. The only thing he has is his charger where he charges his Apple Watch, his AirPods, and his phone. I've also talked about that on my Amazon haul video guys. Go check it out. I've linked it. It is very convenient guys if you don't like cables everywhere like me it is super convenient and that's all he has pretty much on his side um and then my beautiful pampas so my pampas i've talked about a million times you guys know that eddie got them for me out of field they look beautiful but let's talk about this vase oh my god so i knew that the vase that i had before was too like plain i wanted something more extravagant and luxurious for my bedroom so when i saw this guy at pottery barn oh my god i instantly fell in love and the best part guys is that when i went up to check out the girl was like oh you have 45 dollars in credit would you like to use them heck yeah so i practically got it for like half the price i only paid 50 dollars out of my pocket i think it retails for about 100 dollars. i'll link it down below it is worth every penny guys every penny i am obsessed with it it just really elevates my bedroom and i just oh i'm so happy with it um the nice stand again it is the audrey nice stand from west elm and then you guys will see that i have the same setup as on my side with the curtains and the black curtain rod oh that's another thing you guys will notice that my bedroom it is all one color but i have accents of black and gold which is pretty much my home is all about my entire home is just neutral with gold and black accent and i absolutely loved how it turned out I'm really, really happy with it. Okay, and somebody's joined us for this section of the video. He actually just showered, so he smells so good. He smells like oatmeal. Um, anyways, guys, so moving on to above my bed, I have this really pretty chandelier that I got. Well, it's not a chandelier. It's a pendant chandelier. I got it from Home Depot. I could have gone with something more extravagant, but I really didn't want to just because my room, it's big, but it's not you know, too big where I can choose to go with a more massive chandelier. Maybe down the line I definitely will, but for this room, like this size of room, I thought this one was perfect. I feel like a chandelier really just ties in everything 
so perfectly together and this one not only did i love the look of it it was very minimalist and modern but i loved how it has the warm like light bulb and at night oh my god it's so romantic in here it's such a vibe and it speckles like really cute lights all through my walls i just i love it i highly recommend if you guys are looking for something very simple and minimalist to go with this pendant light actually i've seen it a lot of people use it over their kitchen island so that's the great part about it that you can actually you know it's very versatile you can put it anywhere in your home and i love it i love it maybe down the line i would choose to go with a much bigger chandelier you know in my future home but for my apartment i thought this one was perfect and luckily we have the option to actually install a chandelier i know a lot of houses and apartments don't have that so if you do i highly recommend that you do put a chandelier above your bed it really just adds character and i i'm so happy with the way that this one turned out i'll link it down below for you guys if you're interested in purchasing one like mine and the last piece to my bedroom which was actually the last piece that i purchased for my bedroom i could not film this video without finding the perfect rug it is this one right here which i got from pottery barn i knew that it was the one when i saw it so funny story guys i actually picked up one at home goods brought it home i didn't like it it had like a gray and brown like you know look to it and i just i wasn't happy with it i remember telling eddie i'm like no this is not it this is not it we took it back we went to the pottery barn store like the next day and as soon as i saw this one he actually questioned me guys for the first time he never does but he was like babe i don't think this was gonna work it looks too yellow i was like no 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 trust me so when i brought it to my bedroom i just loved how the contrast of it with the more neutral color of my room looked together like even though it's a little bit darker it has like a little ombre look to it so the inside is much more lighter and the outside is darker so you always want to add contrast like that like light and dark together to really make it pop it just really works out better that way and so i loved it i could have gone with any neutral rug but this one was perfect like perfect 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 pugsley knows not he's not allowed in this room if mom and dad are not in here here he knows he's only in here right now because i'm filming so <laughs> he knows especially with this rug it's very very light we don't even like to wear our shoes when we're inside our bedroom so yeah anyways i love it i'm so happy with the way that it turned out and it looks amazing here in my bedroom okay guys and that completes today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it i'm extremely happy with the look of my bedroom i feel like it really represents me and my husband like i just i love it it's very classy and modern but yet minimalist and sophisticated it's just everything that i want my room to represent and so i'm so happy with the way that it turned out remember every piece will be linked down below i know recently guys i've been forgetting to link a couple of pieces so please 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 comment if i do forget to link something and you know i will get back to you as soon as i can i know you guys you know always message me or dm me also go on my instagram and dm me if you're interested or have any questions in any of my pieces i will gladly chat it up with you guys also i wanted to mention that you guys i love when you tag me on instagram like please tag me every time you guys tag me on anything you know maybe something that i've inspired you to decorate or something that i have that you've purchased like just please tag me i will repost it on my story always 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 i just love when you guys tag me and i love seeing all your beautiful homes so please keep on tagging um also don't forget to enter the giveaway in case you you know already forgot i'll mention it one last time all you got to do is give this video a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel and comment down below where you would put the giveaway price in your home i would love to know also maybe share this video with somebody that you know loves fashion and home decor in general or just wants you know a little bit of inspiration on their new home or their already home share this video give it a huge thumbs up and subscribe please stay safe guys i'll catch you all on my next video